Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms out here at Drive Tanks. We're here for the Gundy's 2023 and we are excited to shoot some full autos. Uh, there's quite a few vendors here, sponsors here for the Gundy's that Forge Relations is putting on. This was a really good time last year and we're looking to, well, have a good time again this year. See a lot of familiar faces, see a lot of friends, make some new friends, and of course shoot some pretty cool guns and perhaps a few tanks so without further ado let's go talk to uh well there's premier body armor there's hk there's eotech digi triggers let's just start guys we're over here at digital trigger technologies we've got ben here with us today to talk a little bit about it we've got an hk416 with your digital trigger and this is your full auto trigger right yes that's right that's exactly right so Very what true. we yeah tell us about this this is impressive yeah okay so what we have is a digital hybrid trigger system so it's gonna complement your early mechanical trigger so right here is safe this is mechanical semi-auto just your middle spec trigger here's mechanical full auto again a middle spec trigger now when it gets cool and we're clear we're gonna go down to digital all right now you have full auto we're gonna pretend we're firing we've got two shot burst we've got three shot burst but what everybody loves is in full auto you have variable rates of fire so you can see we've got rate buttons here right so five a second and you can adjust it while you're firing 10 15 <laughs> so it, it essentially gives you every option because it's digital, it's software. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, Which, that is super impressive. You've, it also has three round bursts too in addition to two. And exactly, that. exactly. Dude. Modes are just programmed, so whatever the user wants, we can program it. Dude, that's freaking awesome. I love that. So yeah, going to go ahead and send a couple rounds with it, man. That's a great, Ben. Hell yeah. Dude, Hell yeah. Thanks for taking the time. And guys, let us know down in the comments section, because you guys make them also, you know, not full auto, stuff like that, but binary like we right do, too, we right? We do. I can grab a lower real quick. And, oh, yeah, sure. And this is, we're now on our generation two model, is the mode to go to digital is in the rear, all right, third position. And you have a mode selector yep. that, and it, it tells you, hey, you're in pull and release right now. Or you can, and I recommend you always start and pull only, and you get to take advantage of the finesse of that digital trigger. And then of course, everybody asks what happens if the battery goes dead? Well, let's just pretend that the battery's dead. Well, let's go right back to mechanical. Still have your standard mechanical trigger. That's really cool, man. So you and guys that is available. Of yeah, oh, hell yeah. Thought of it all, man. Well, Ben, thanks for taking the time, dude. Can't wait to shoot some. A, a great pleasure, sir. You got it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what? It slows it down. Yeah, that's wild. Well, hold her down, you're good. Let's just go in three. All right, so we'll go full auto. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that's wild, man. Okay. So, all the buttons. You've got full auto controls on the back. On the side, you've got three round burst, five rounds a second, 10 rounds a second, 15 rounds a second. Let's, I'm just gonna go to 10 to 15, see if we can tell tell a difference. Full auto, 10 seconds, three rounds a second. All right. Full auto, 15 rounds a second. <laughs> yeah, there's an obvious difference. How freaking cool is that? So this is the HK M110A1 Chamberton 76 Tornado with the Huxworks 762, of course, on it, and the SIG Tango 6 1 to 6. This is a very neat setup that you might be noticing. We have something very similar on our back, the MR 762A1, that we are putting out to be pretty similar. And I'm feeling the brass hit me. That means more machine guns and AKs are behind me, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, just got told it's sighted into 200, so let's see if I can hit something with it. And also, let us know if you'd like a uh, M110A1 clone-ish giveaway. That is just too easy. It is so soft shooting. I really want one of these. Hit that little square down there. Oh. That's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. 
We're here now with Henry. Of course, we've got the lever guns and the brand new homesteader by Henry. And uh, Pat, thanks for taking the time, man. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, let's hit on this homesteader because this is something new, that, kind of unexpected that you guys dropped and it's been uh, all over social media. Just tell us about it. Yeah, this is uh, the new homesteader. Of course, this one is, has got the Henry mag. So we've got a proprietary Henry mag. Then I've got my personal homesteader over there and we've got the block in it that'll take the Glock mags. And it's also available for an m and So it's pretty much tools. All you have to do is punch out three pins right here in the receiver. Yeah. This pin punches out this one and this one. So then what you do is there's a, a, a groove right here. The whole firing group, the stock and everything slides out. Then this pin holds your block. So your block comes out and then when that's when you swap it. You swap in your Glock block or your Henry block or your SIG and M&P. Then all you do is just take and, like I said, there's that groove, slide it back up, take those three pins and just pop, pop, pop. Oh. So pretty much toolless. Yeah, that's really cool, man. And I mean, a nine millimeter carbine like this, these guys, I mean, they're fun. They're just so much fun. So that's that's really neat. And of course, you've got it silenced, which I love, or at least yeah. a suppressor mounted on it. Yeah, if they didn't thread these, I would have been so disappointed. Oh, yeah. But they've got a really nice ghost ring sight. This is from uh, XS. Uh, I've been running the XS stuff on, on lots of lever guns, so it tickled me that they put this excess on here it's bomb proof yeah you can't break it yeah no, and uh, so then stuff. of course it's a weaver 63b so anything compatible with weaver, weaver 63b the optic trail will fit so it's already bolted or drilled and tapped all you got to do is just bolt your favorite one on yeah that's awesome man well sweet and uh what do i have here in right. my hand here this is my personal henry x 4570 let's go ahead and swap all right so this one being my personal one, I've owned this one for three years and it's traveled the country. I've gone all over the place with it. And it's covered with Ranger Point Precision parts. So it's a Henry re repeating arms and then these RPP parts, I'm actually employed by Ranger Point Precision, all the aftermarket stuff. Yeah. So we've got the Costa rail, the quivers, we've got the stock, the quivers, and uh, it's got the hammer extension. We got a trigger kit in here. As soon as you shoot this, you'll see that trigger. Really nice, two pounds, light. So yeah. All right, let's run it, man. Rock and roll. That is too much fun, man. That is way too much fun. Dude, soft recoiling, great recoil impulse. That's awesome. So, Pat, thanks for taking the time with us today, man. That 4570, I need one of those. So, yeah. Everybody needs a 4570. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Henry Thank you. Arms, Appreciate guys. you stopping by. You got it. So, this, this is actually a magazine fed. 556 five, lever gun by Henry. That is pretty cool. Of course, they've got it suppressed, and you already know I'm going to want to try to run this as fast as I can, so let's do it. That is, that is fun. That is a lot of fun. Ryan, try this. Yeah, right. A little boring. Dude, that is that's insane. I I think I I think I, I want think And they make innovate. it in seven six two and stuff. I didn't think you could innovate a lever action. Here we are. Like, well, <laughs> but here we are. On. Thanks, Henry. I was so impressed by this. I had to get Pat back over here to talk a little bit about more. And this this is which what is it called again? This is the Henry Long Ranger Express. Okay. So it's chambered in two two three and five five six. So the first time, see, we've got a new daughter, and the first time she'd ever shot a gun, she's twelve years old. So I had her on this with a suppressor, no recoil. I had her hitting at two hundred yards. Brand new, never shot a gun before in her life. Had her hitting at 200 yards. That's awesome. But then mine with factory loaded Hornady match, 77 grain. I can do half him away out to 300 yards with it. Oh wow, really? So that's an inch and a half through for 300 yards. Dude, that's neat. And you guys make this in multiple calibers, right? Uh, well, the Long Ranger Express is only 223 and 556. Five, yeah. Now the unthreaded, the more traditional looking ones, yeah. they're in 308, 243, uh, 223. There's multiples. Yeah. 65 Creed more. So, yeah, the Long Ranger is available in more. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome, man. Pat, thanks again for taking the time. That thing is cool. God, I love this country. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Now let's mag dump a uh, 4570 because why the hell not? Solid. 
Come on, Ryan! Woo oh. Yes! How do you feel, Woo. sir? Sir, how do you feel right now? Oh, it was uh, it was pretty good recoil impulse, you know, 4570. Okay. It's a uh, hard hitting round. Wow. Is this your first time? First time ever with you. Over here with Century Arms, of course, we've got a full auto Visca that I'm going to run the ever-living crap out of here in just a moment. But I am curious to see how this is going to work with the brakes that they have right up front. It looks awesome if you ask me. Uh, but polymer furniture all around with the Magpul furniture. Uh, we do have the Zukov side-folding stock on this. Adam, you gave me a magazine. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Let's see it here. Die. <laughs> that feels real good. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love that, man. All right. Well, I need one of these. Do what? Yeah, I really. Like I've got my personal gun. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. That is so much fun. Just want to run the tree really quick with the Rival S. This, of course, is the all-metal frame slide everything from Panic. It's a heavy boy, but it is one of the softest shooting 9mm pistols I've had the pleasure of shooting, and I am proud to say I own one. Two misses. I'm not, I'm not happy that about that. So I need good. a fully loaded magazine so I can miss more, all right? Anyway, the Rival S, like I said, absolute pleasure to shoot. They do have the dark side as well, which is the all black if you don't like the, uh, the silvery boy like I do. I like this one. So Kai and I have had some fun. You guys all right? <laughs> All right, anyway, so Kaya and I have already had some fun running the full auto AP5 and the Vishka. Uh, we've played with the Rival S a little bit, but you guys just announced the MC9. So tell us about that, Adam. Yeah, so the MC9 obviously made its debut at SHOT Show uh, 2023. We know the micro compact is part of the industry now that's so important. It's literally like 40% of handgun sales in the United States. And Canik wanted to make sure that we did it right. We weren't trying to be first to market, but we wanted to take all the things that people like to about some of the other amazing offerings out there from some of our competitors and say, what do people really like about it? What do people not like about it? And let's figure out a way to do something that we can offer with a value in terms of cost at an affordability and reliability that comes with the Canic name. Thus, the MC9. So you've got a 1.1 inch wide, four and a half inch tall and 6.1 inch long gun with a 12 plus one, is what you're gonna run in a 15 plus one capacity. Uh, comes optics ready, co-witnesses, uh, comes with an inside the waistband, outside the waistband reversible holster, the two mags, speed loader, tool kit, three back straps, which is unique for a micro compact, allows for your hand to kind of, you know, make sure that you are able to operate it the way you want to. Because that's the thing about a micro compact. We want something that we can conceal, but if you can't run it right because it's too small, what are you doing in the first place? You want to be able to hit what you're aiming at, especially if you're grabbing in a hurry. You know, the thing about that is you know when you're actually going to need this in a personal defense situation, things aren't going to go well. When crap hits the fan, you got to be ready, and you want, you want it to be as optimal as you can no matter what the situation is, and that's how we designed it. So it's coming in at a 399 map with everything I mentioned there. Um, we're really excited. They go live. March 1st. So just a couple days from now, by the time this video comes out, they may be live and obviously really excited. Classic's got some of the first ones in the market. Right. Comes in three colors, black, two-tone, and flat dark earth right here. Uh, man, we're just excited to be a part of it and we appreciate everything you guys do. Well, this will be the first time Kai and I shooting it, so let's hop on it. Dude, for a compact gun like that, that recoil impulse is nice. It feels like a full-size gun. Yeah, 100%. A full-size gun feel. Yeah. yeah. 
So that's awesome. I was shooting the one with the 12, 12 mag. It does come with a 12 and a 15 round mag. It does, and, and I just want to say, I'm, I'm proud to see you actually utilizing an optic the way it should be and actually hitting some targets. <laughs> finally, finally, Clint. <laughs> anyway, so obviously like what Adam was saying, you're going to have it in the black, the two-tone, and the tan that you see right here, which is really nice. Show the 15 round with the mag inserted, because that's something I really am a fan of, because I do like the compact size, but you get a little bit of that pinky overhang. Which so, it actually also comes, you were talking about this, so I want to show it in that smallest conversion exactly, level. Yeah. Um, but it actually comes with, in addition to everything I'm trying to mention, it comes with a pinky rest as well. Yes. So if you want to switch out that flush base plate, yep. it comes, so it gives you that little bit of an extension off the front. Like you said, you don't have nearly as much hangover. Yep. Um, and with that, a little bit more control, if that's what you need. There you go. So comfort, ergonomics, great shooting pistol. What more do you need in a, in a compact still carry? At $3.99. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Adam, it's always good to see you, bro. Good to see you guys. We're over here now with Fox Truck Mike. Of course, you guys have seen Paul on the channel plenty of times. It's always good to see you, bro. I know, man. Here we are at the Gundy's. It's great to see classic firearms, Clint and the family. Yeah. Thanks so much for being a, you guys are sponsoring. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, man. I got a full auto nine for you to check out. You want to do a quick shoot? Yeah, let's do a quick shoot. Why not? Let's see what happens. Yeah, this is pretty fun. Let's see. Any of these targets good? It's all you, man. You, you live your life. I got a mag for you. Another one. All right. Oh. Oh, that is all right. That the best part is the bat. The last round bolt hold up and work. <laughs> dude, what is that rate of fire? That is it's fast. about 1200. Dude, that is fast. Yeah, so all right. Now, this is obviously the nine million. Well, we're, we're doing a law enforcement line, but we're, this is something we're offering uh, in the near future. Yeah. And then we got some cool stuff to show you, uh, assuming we can shoot it. You want to look and stop on the table, or you want to wait till after they... Uh, yeah, they're about to call Steve's fire in just a moment, but we'll try to go in and get in as much as we can. Let's Sounds good. Let's take a walk. So tell us about this guy. I think we saw that at uh, Kalash Bash, right? This is our passion project. We're going to be bringing something like this to the market. It really appeals to me. Um, it's something you have to experience. You want to shoot it? Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. do it, man. It's, got really, it's kind of got strange controls. Yeah. The mag catch and the bolt release are really far forward, and it has a shotgun safety right there. Give it a shot. Let me know what your impression is. All right. Let's see. Wow. That is super soft shooting, man. I know. It's <laughs> it's hard to explain, right? Yeah. It's something you have to experience. Yeah, accurate too, man. I mean, look at the, whatever target I wanted out there, you got that thing dialed in. Yeah. That feels great. And so which model is this again? Well, this isn't something, this is our 12 and a half inch upper yeah. uh, with a mag full stock. Uh, it's a combination of parts, kind of a Franken gun. Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing we'll be doing a ranch rifle at some point in the future. Yeah. Uh, but this is just my, it's a proof of concept. Wow. But listen, sh shooting it tells a story, right? right? I mean, it's if I handed you the gun, you would be like, but once you shoot it, it. I mean, what do you tell me? What do you think? Dude, it. All right, the recoil impulse is awesome. I think I think I sh we shot this at a flash bash, right? Yeah. I think you were out there, and it, yeah, but we were actually put a little distance out yeah. this time. Yeah, and really focus on the sights and everything. And really shot there. Man, that felt good, and that sounds awesome. Yeah. But that felt really, really good, comfortable shooting gun. Well, that's. I think this is going to be a winner. Uh, I think this will fill a need in states like California, yeah. where they're completely rendered impotent by the DOJ. You know, we want to be support them too. Yeah. Really, ultimately, that's where we're, we want to we want to arm, you know, blue collar people. That's our job, right? Right. You know? Awesome, man. Well, hey, uh, was there something else you wanted to show? Yeah, yeah. I do. One more thing. Yep. All right. And what do we have here? Well, the last thing I want to show you is the 102. We're really proud of this. We launched this at Kalash Bash almost eight, six, eight months ago. Uh, we put it through production testing with real people. Then we went to Red October. Had great success with it. This just came out on the market. It is available currently. Uh, you're welcome to find this on our website. See where to buy it. Uh, it's a 556 Rock and Lock AK with a flat mod. Yeah. So pretty cool. Why don't you check it out? Yeah, let's do it, man. That's awesome. Good. How about that? That's cool. Neat. All right. This one's pretty cool. That's. So you shot a lot of AKs. How would you compare that to an AK? Uh, all right. Well, first of all, five five six. Uh, again, really light recoil impulse. It's not like. 
I mean, dude, I was able to hit the target so I mean, just pop, pop, pop. Yeah. You know, as fast as I want to pull the trigger on it. That feels really, really cool. It's a very interesting design and concept. I mean, I just you don't see this, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're really proud of it. It's been very well received. Yeah. Um, there's only one thing I'd like to show you, and then you can... Let me show you one more thing. All right, let's see it. So, um, this is an A3 Tactical. I really, really like this brand. Very elegant, well executed, lightweight. But this gun is way under six pounds. We're very proud of it. it is so, super light. Yeah, so for an AK variant, you could get the logic of this lightweight. Right. Yeah. Let's see it. Yeah, that feels really good. You like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's, that's solid. First of all, how light it is. Yeah. You would think you would feel that recoil more, but no, that's that's easy, man. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is super You cool. know, you fold it. This is, a, I think this is a, oh, I, got I don't really know what, that might be a 16. I don't even know what length that is. Yeah. That's that's nice. Man. Shoot it from the folded position. Yeah. A3 Tactical, great product. Yeah. Really good. Really like their stuff. Dude, that's awesome, man. Now, this is, this is really nice. But this is something you guys are offering? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It'll be available through Classic in the near future. We're really stoked about that. Hey, Ben, we love you classic firearms we love you yeah. thank you so much i appreciate it paul it's always good hey, to see Clay, you man. great to see you thank you see you Go. We're over here now, a little, little cramped, but that's okay. I don't mind being close to you guys. Dylan Precision, and you guys, first of all, always bring some fun stuff. Uh, you got a mini gun on a Jeep over here, and on top of that, this is the first and only 300 blackout chambered saw that I've seen. So, first of all, if you guys don't know Dylan Precision, I got Nick here. Let's go ahead and tell us a little I'll just wait. There we go. Just go ahead and tell us a little bit, a little bit about the company and uh, why does this exist? I love it. <laughs> first of all, we're just major loot shooters. If you shoot a lot, and first, we all love to shoot a lot, we needed to figure out a way to bring the cost down. So that's why we're able to do things like this, which is shoot 300 black for under 60 cents a round. And that's why we converted this to shoot 300 black for under 60 cents a round. This is all subsonic ammunition out of a full auto 249. Uh, we're all just major league shooters. I got a professional here. He's a pro GM shooter. This is probably one of the major league shooters that I have. And this is George Dillon as well. Dude, that's awesome. But uh, let's run you through this thing. Yeah, dude, yep. absolutely. Yeah, and this is ammo that you guys are literally yeah. making right Every, over there, right? Yep. Yeah. Right, right behind us. Yep. Right all, all the ammo that has been shot at our booth at the Gundys have been loaded on the two machines behind us. That's really cool. We just got some footage of that too, so you guys will be seeing that. Auto drive makes life easy, and 300 blackout gets cheap. So let's get you behind this gun. Oh, feels so good, dude. Let's see. This is year five of us being at the Gundy's and we love supporting this. We love the type of people that are here. We love being a part of this. This industry is just phenomenal. Uh, truly just want to thank you guys for being a part of shooting our guns and being with us. Oh, absolutely, bro. I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you guys too because let us know down in the comment section if you enjoy it. Yes, of course, another gun giveaway. Everything you would need to reload your own ammo. I think that'd be pretty cool. We'll send it to you. Look what I just found in my hand. I love that. That was funny. Anyway, that could be that could be ammo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. God, that is beautiful. I absolutely love that man hey thank you so You're much welcome, for all so this, much. dude yeah and you guys got a whole layout over here yep. too every every one of these carbines on the table is a machine gun so this is the the world's first terran tactical mpx converted to a full auto machine gun which is very very smooth hey do we have a loaded mpx mag over there Oh, yes. Perfect. You're going to shoot another gun right now. Okay, that's cool. I'm that's it. Play. This is one of the flattest shooting guns. It has the least amount of recoil out of any gun on this table. Uh, we have it set up for night vision right now with an end goal. Yeah, okay. Um, let's get your hands on this. Let's, let's show you how smooth this is. All right, let's do it. 
No recoil. Yo. That is fantastic. Man. Absolutely. Wow, I mean that rate of fire is up there too. It's insane. It's one of the faster shooting guns we have on the table, but this MCX is actually faster. Okay. And that's a full auto honey badger, also a very rare machine gun. The cyclic rate on this MCX is insane. Um, it'll dump a mag in one or two seconds. This is a full auto MCX. Um, we've got a full melting suppressor on here. Super quiet, super fast, yeah. very low recoil. Another very fun gun to shoot. That's why we're here. We're here to have fun. Yeah. Here to have a good time. So I'll trade you. Yeah. Take that. Sure. You take this. Right. Bingo, bingo. Sounds good. Yes, sir. All right. Yep. What's happening in 10 minutes? Dude, that is fast. Yep. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to spray you. <laughs> it's all right. I was in the line of the brass. Yeah. Line of fire. God, that runs fast. Oh Super my God. Fast. That yeah. was about uh, 20, 25 rounds in that magazine, and that was probably 1.5, 1.8 seconds or so. I'm sure we could run that back and put it on the screen. Yeah, right. but the biggest thing is that we're able to shoot this 300 blackout for a fraction of the cost. Right. If, these are Hornady 208 grain subsonic open tip boat tail 300 blackout. If you were to buy this ammo from a store right now or an online retailer, you're looking at anywhere from a dollar eighty to two dollars and fifty cents a round. And you guys are doing it for sixty. Sixty cents. Wow. So about a third of the cost, you know, a quarter of the cost, give or take. Um, I'm a professional shooter. I shoot 50, 60 thousand rounds of nine per year, yeah. and it is. It's a lot of dollars that I save every year loading on a press, right? Because yeah. my nine millimeter comes down to about 16 to 18 cents per round. That's awesome, man. Again, that rate of fire is just amazing. And your ammo, dude, is running flawlessly. So that's that's great. Again, that's really impressed with the 300 blackout saw. You just don't see yeah. that, dude. But man, awesome. thanks again. Well, here. Take that home as a souvenir. Oh. So you'll always remember your experience. Oh. <laughs> I'll just look at the semi-auto saws that I have and go, you're not worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, go. man. I appreciate Pleasure it. Pleasure shooting with you. We're over here now with Premier Body Armor and Ballistic Dummy Labs. Both of these guys I consider friends, and this is an awesome setup that you guys are about to put on right now. We've shot the full body target before, which was a lot of fun. But you guys are doing something pretty unique because something that I think is missing in the body armor industry oh, is absolutely. for women. Yeah, absolutely. So for years, women have uh, had to use uh, male vests in law enforcement, uh, and we've come out with a structured vest. Uh, inside here is a structured ballistics, and it will actually allow a female shooter or a female a female to wear this vest. And when they shoot, uh, it's not going to buckle on them, so it's going to be significantly more comfortable. And uh, we we released this at Shot Show this year. Uh, it's been received really really well. I was talking to Chris, and Chris actually had the uh, the border patrol reach out to you, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Border Patrol is uh, running a study. They had the same problem. They noticed there were differences in women when they would uh, go into the field shooting, getting shot and whatnot. So they wanted to run a study. I said, hey, we already have a female torso we designed. Do you want to give it a shot with your body armor? Yeah. So, yeah, worked out good. Yep, and so what we're what Premier's about to demonstrate right now is actually how this is going to be effective for a woman, sure. right? So this is a structured ballistic. It's actually made specifically for a woman. There is no, there's no wire in there. This is sewn. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool pretty unique uh, and we found the actually the perfect size this is gonna fit all, um, women in from a cup all the way up to double D so they can just choose the the, the size t-shirt that they wear small medium large extra large uh, and so on but the cup size is this is perfect just to you just to be able to create that suggestion of uh, a breast and what it does is it makes it significantly more comfortable and safer yeah. and safer so uh, we're gonna we're gonna shoot it yeah, that's and great then, and it's, and it's yeah. level 3a protection level 3a protection it's going to protect against virtually all handgun rounds. Right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it with the vest on, and then we'll have a little bit of fun shooting it without. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, let's do it. It's turning. Okay. All right, so you want to. Okay. Let me see. Material burn. Yeah. And that's it. fine. Yeah. What, what about this right yeah. here? Uh, that was oh, our that's just, yeah. That's so, awesome. so no broken ribs or anything. Yeah. So here, here's the ballistics. <laughs> Let's check it out. <laughs> 
so excited. I'm like, let's see. Wow. You guys see that? Wow. Nada. Here's your here's your shot placement. You don't want to mess with her. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't turned it. And then this, was cool. this, this is where she, she turned it and yeah. she's getting it across the front. Hey, if you guys don't know Tony, you should just totally follow Tony McBride. So. Hi guys, yep, Tony McBride. I'm on Instagram and YouTube. Follow me at Tony McBride Official. Yeah, What's and going we see on? you shoot quite a bit too, so you're, oh, you're, you're, you. you're a pretty good shot. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> We're over here now at CAA, and of course, this should be a very familiar face. We've got Aaron. Dude, it's always good to see My you, man. bro. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, if you haven't seen our podcast together, it's a great one. It was. Dude, you've got some stories, man. Y'all need to check it out, CAA Podcast. Anyway, you've got something pretty interesting here. What is it that you've got in your hands, so man? So this is the Apollo. We talked to Shot Show about it. We said we're going to potentially have a working model at the Gundy's. We've got a working model. We're at the Gundy's. All right. All right, so yeah, this is our um, 9mm uh, PCC rifle. Standalone, it's not gonna be the MCK where you insert the pistol anymore. Full standalone. This will be the 9mm version, like we talked about before. We'll come out with a 5, 5, 6, and a 10mm. But yeah, let's put it out there and take a couple shootings, huh? Yeah, dude, let's take a look at it, man. Sure. Absolutely. I can't share it myself, brother. You gotta take a look at that. Heck yeah, man. I'll take Dude, that's running. fun, man. That's that's a lot of fun. I see it over here. All right, that feels really good. That trigger is something special too, man. So we got a lot of things going on. It's still it's still in the workings. There's gonna be a lot of different changes that we have going with the trigger and everything like that. But like you said, it's a smooth run PCC, and we're excited to get this out here soon. Hopefully, in the next month and a half, two months, we'll have this out in the market. That's awesome, man. Well, dude, it's it's great. I've got another mag here, so I'm just gonna There's go. Only to one thing to do with it, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> So the interview is here now with me. This is Aaron with Classic Firearms. <laughs> Let her fly. Smooth running now. Hell yeah. yeah, we're looking forward to it, man. That's awesome. an exciting piece. Man, that's, that's nice, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's the Apollo, right? The Apollo, yes, sir. All Apollo right. Apollo coming out here soon. CAA, USA, we're making fire on it. 100%, bro. 100%. <laughs> See you later, brother. And we're over here now at Dark Storm Industries. We got Brett here to talk with us today. Thanks for taking the time, man. Oh, thank you. And uh, you guys definitely, if the Gundys had a category for the loudest guns here, these would be it, man. So tell us a little bit about DSI and what we got on the table. So Dark Storm, uh, we've been around about 11 years now. Uh, we just relocated all of our manufacturing from New York down to Florida. Uh, we're a full CNC facility. So everything you see, we make a uh, majority of it is in-house on our own machines. We we are 100% U.S. made, all our materials sourced in the U.S., and we back all our products with a transferable lifetime warranty. Um, so the firearms we brought out here, these are pistol configurations of our popular DS-15 Typhoon. Uh, it's chambered in 5.56. We gave it this really cool Hawaiian Cerakote color just to draw some attention and bring people into the uh, booth. Uh, the reason for the volume, I guess you'd say, is the short barrel, the 7.5 inch barrel. A lot of gas coming out the end there. And so. the two chamber brake coupled with the 7.5 inch barrel. That's yeah, it. That's, that's so Definitely. the Typhoon, uh, as popular as, as it is, it's a billet precision matched upper and lower receiver set. It's got ambidextrous controls, over molded furniture, uh, free float M lock handguard, really nice features. Yep. The other model we brought out here is our uh, Variant 1. Okay. Um, it's got a lot more tooling and design aspect to it, not just uh, for aesthetic, but also helps to reduce the weight. Uh, so with the whole setup here with the suppressor, the uh, optic, the camera, uh, all the features on here, we're still around seven pounds. It's, it's really wow. light, uh, so it's pretty incredible. But, um, well, I'll check it out, but uh, I do want to do it with these loud guys here, and then I want to run a, run a couple rounds through that and really get a feel for it. Awesome. Okay.
That is obnoxious and I love it. That is amazing. Oh my God. Now I want to try out the V1 that he was talking about here. Seven pounds even with all of the stuff on it. Ooh, that, feels that feels really good. First of all, just take a look at the design. That thing feels awesome. Even with the GoPro all the way at the end, feels really, really good. Soft recoiling. And on top of that, it's got a Surefire RC2 on it. I didn't notice any gas back to the face whatsoever. So very impressive by DSI, Darkstorm Industries. We're over here now with Langdon Tactical. We've got Bill here. Thanks for taking the time with us yeah, today, man. Yeah, thanks for talking to us. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Well, I had the opportunity to shoot the P30HK uh, right. at SHOT Show. Right. And it really impressed me that what you guys did with that. Phil's awesome. I see the 1301 and a couple of others, but yeah, just give us a little bit of rundown about Langdon Tactical, what you guys do and what we got on the table here. Sure, so we're a custom firearms company. A lot of people know about our bougie bread is what they like to call them with the souped up triggers, the RDO cuts, all that stuff. And everybody knows about that. They're awesome. We still move tons of them. But what a lot of people don't know about is what you mentioned before, HKP 30s. We're doing all of those now, the, the L, the 30 and the SK. Uh, we work on all of the Glocks. We install apex triggers we do laser stipples all that kind of good stuff uh, and then we also work on the px4 something that a lot of people aren't aren't aware of it's kind of a dark horse gun uh, has never gotten a ton of marketing support but we work on it and it's a super phenomenal flat shooting gun and then lastly we work on the uh Springfield Hellcat as well. So that's that's pretty nice, man. So what all? Because the 1301 is obviously catching my eye. For sure. What all is it that you guys actually did to the 1301 here? So on the Gen 3 1301, it comes from the factory with an extended seven-round tube. So we don't do that anymore. We do do a trigger job on it, so it's got our phenomenal trigger work on it. And then on top of that, everything you see here that's black, we added all those components. These are all GG and G components, uh, adapters for the Zhukov forend and the Magpul stock, and then all. Also, the uh, optic mount as well as the uh, side saddle. Yeah, I really like the optic mount. It looks like it gets right down low it, there. It, it does, yeah. One of the great things about those chrome mounts is that it allows you to maintain your your iron sight sight picture, but still have that optic. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, well, I know, unfortunately, it looks like we're cold right at the moment, but if we get the opportunity to shoot these, I definitely will. But I uh, just wanted to thank you for taking the time, Bill. And if you guys yeah. haven't seen Langdon Tactical, you need to check him out. Listen, I've been wanting to do this for a long time because this guy right here, he's the man. He's the man. I'm his biggest fan. I've been following him all around America. He ignores me all the time. He never returns my phone calls. Clint Morgan, everybody. Clint Morgan. This guy right here. That's it. That's all I got to say. I'm going to let you finish, but first. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, appreciate that, Mr. Chee, Mr. Keys, Guns Out TV, John Keys. I'm your biggest fan, bro. Hey. <laughs> but, Bill, thanks yeah, again, man. Nice I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, we're about to do the Mad Minute. I'm dual wielding a full auto Glock uh, 44 and a Langdon Tactical Beretta, and uh, I'm pretty excited. So, about to find it. We're over here now with Cool Fire Trainer. We've got Boone here to talk with us today. And dude, first of all, it's great to call you a friend now. We've been hanging out quite a bit a here pleasure, at the Gundies. I love it. And this oh, has yeah. been a lot of fun. And uh, you called me over here the other day and you're like, dude, you gotta try this thing out. And I was like, well, yeah, I do because this thing simulates recoil pretty freaking cool. And on top of that, you have like a laser system and you can run drills. Tell me about it. <laughs> so, so I mean, you mentioned the recoil, right? The yeah. recoil is not the third best thing right. to me. So what it, what it does is it's resetting your trigger. It's breaking your sight picture because to me, doesn't matter if you're a professional gunfighter, you're a competition shooter, uh, you carry a gun for a living as a police officer or federal law enforcement, you're gonna have to do those two things. Focus on um, your sights breaking, your trigger resetting, yeah. and then getting back on target, right? right? 
So, and this is a real staccato. These are all real guns we have here on the table. Um, what we make is a drop-in barrel and recoil spring that's gonna go in your gun. So it doesn't matter what holster you're running. Oh, I, here's my Glock 17, I run a TLR1 light. You can see the burn marks on my light. What's that telling you? It means I train with my stuff. It's fitting in my holster, so I'm not having to change any gear to train how I wanna train. And I can train how I see fit. Doesn't matter what environment. You can train in your bathroom, you can train in your car. We can train here at the Gundy's. What, kind of whatever you wanna do, you build your training around you. I I like the idea of training in the bathroom. That sounds, that sounds like a good time. Shower gun, whole new definition right yeah. there, you know. I think you already spent enough time in the bathroom. You don't need this. Or, uh, 45 minutes minimum. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, first of all, we've got a laser system behind us here, right? Can you tell us a little bit about this and then what we're about to do right now? Yeah, so it, it's not made by us. It's made by a company we work with a ton, um, Laser Ammo. But, I mean, it works so great with our product. You guys saw it the other day, and you're fixing to see it happen live on screen. But it just works so great that we love demoing with it because you can do different things. Right. I know some people work on a time standards drill of falling plate rack. It's got a function for that. It's yeah. got double taps, which that's what we do a lot of competitions with because that's what we like doing because right. you really see it. So see what we got here. There we go. Wow. And so you run that. Now, what I, so that, okay, so what was your time on that? I don't know. John, John erased my time. Did you see it, John? No, there wasn't no time. It was, it was so a hit. fast you couldn't register. That's right, right? What, I'm trying to, what, uh, what program we need here? Oh, it's a, five. It, <laughs> all right, so my next question is filling up the CO2, about how many shots do you get with each one? So on a, on a gun like this, Staccato, 25 to 30 because it is a bull barrel design yeah. on most duty size handguns. So the MPs, the CZs, the Glock 17s, 17 to 25 depending on gas temperature and the tube size. Um, the smaller guns, we try to say at least a magazine's worth, okay. but guns like the Glock 43, because they're so small, we, we normally recommend, but I normally tell people um, at least a magazine's worth. Okay. Because you're going to have to reload anyway, yeah. so you need to refill with CO2. Right. Um, and speaking of that, we offer these couple ways so you see us film with a paintball style here this tank gets you 2,000 2,500 shots pretty easy so and then we offer soda maker you can go to Walmart Target Amazon buy it yeah, and you're getting 16 1800 out of this for between 15 and 50 bucks depending what you're getting CO2 for so that's pretty cool so you can literally just sit here at home pretty much all day once you get the setup and everything yeah all and, right and the only wear device um, because a lot of people will say oh I don't drive fire because it'll break my firing pin well in reality most modern metals won't but see if I can make this gun do it I can show your camera see that plastic tip there those are good for between five, 600 shots on most guns. That's protecting your firing pin from damaging my system and vice versa. Because the last thing I want you to do is have your concealed carry gun, your duty gun, your competition gun. All of a sudden you get a beep, somebody pulls a gun on you and then all of a sudden click. Well, obviously it's not gonna fire, you'll get a click and then you go, well, I just lost $100,000 at the national match because Cool fire broke my firing. That's not what I want. Oh, so thousand dollars or your life. Yeah, or your life. I wasn't gonna say that, but all right. But then the striker tip super easy to change. Pull it off a needle nose pliers, drop the new one on, shoot it a couple times to seat it, and that's really the only maintenance other than your occasional grease. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, so here's the fun part. Kai and I are gonna square off here. We, you've got the target systems up. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven targets. I can count, imagine that. Um, uh, I, I yeah. had to add in a couple extra because you guys were going too fast of the day, except for uh, your camera guy beating you. Yeah. I'm gonna let that be known. The camera guy did beat the both of them, so. That's, that's, that's true. true, that's, 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 that's true, true. that's true, Kai. It's true, Kai. No. But hey, you're, you're, you're fed boy showing. Um, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> So I kind of want to see some redemption, but I added some extras so you didn't follow the same path you did the other day. Got to mix it up on you. All right. All right. So it's going to be two hits on each target still? Yep. Still two hits. All right. Two hits. Let's see who can do it the fastest. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You, you sure? You ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's yeah, do this it. Is, this is a little weird, let's but let's go. Can somebody get Kaya a, a larger shirt than a medium, please? <laughs> That looked good. I'm gonna run the staccato. I right. wanna, oh okay. yeah. I, like I like this guy. Do you have plenty uh, of CO2 I think I wanna run it? that too. Yeah. What's that? Do you have plenty of CO2 in it? Yeah, 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 I filled it up. Cool. Yeah, we should, we should have. By I'm the way, um, uh, in case they're wondering too, you're probably wondering like, hey, how do you have a magazine in there and you're racking it without it locking back or anything like that. Uh, you guys have these little inserts that just don't, yeah. that don't activate the uh, slide lock. That's all. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, cool. There it is. <laughs> let it let it calculate. Yep. Give it a minute. 
4.06. That does beat Kai's time. Yeah. Right. Well, dude, this is super cool, though. I love the training behind this, and I love the familiarization with your own firearm at any point in time, which is really cool. Yeah. So, guys, cool fire training systems. I mean, this is just, again, a really neat thing. And um, you and I were talking a little bit about this. Let us know down in the comments section if you'd like to see a complete loadout, of course, giveaway, uh, but also including a training simulation like this. Let us know your thoughts about that down in the comments section. Again, Boone, just want to thank you. This was a lot yeah, of fun. Thanks, brother. Great thanks, to have man. you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. Yeah, guys, again, cool fire training. We're over here now with Next Belt, and walking by, it looks like you guys have a pretty unique system. I know you have a uh, pretty much a belt design with concealed carry, carrying firearms in mind, right? Yeah. All right, well, Joshua, I appreciate you taking the time, man. And yeah, just, yeah man. just run us through because I know a lot of guys look like hey man what belt what watch what safety gear what whatever yeah, it might yeah, be you know and so this just looks like a neat everyday carry type of um thing to add to i guess you could say your accessories that you yeah. might need right so yeah, just yeah, tell yeah. us about it yeah so this right here is a supreme appendix all our belts are 50 inches but this one's really known because of the supreme uh low low profile you're able to just ratchet it in release it our technology basically is about the ratchet system on this end right here it's quarter inch so you would have four notches in between an inch on this end right here it's a custom fit uh, on the custom fit side uh, all the belts are 50 inches you cut it to your size so let's say you're a 30 inch waist uh, you would cut it at 34 you cut it 34 and reintroduce the buckle slide it right in and just ratchet it out with the button so yeah that's pretty neat and little simple things that i like too is on the uh, interior this is probably one of the cut belts i assume yeah <laughs> On the interior, you actually have it notched, so that way you know what your waist size is, right? Yeah. Which is pretty cool, so you don't have to do any type of guessing or anything like yeah. that. If you're a size 44, whatever it might be, like this guy was obviously like, what, a 40? And so yeah. you guys just cut it on that end and let yeah, him have yeah. it. Yeah, So the yeah. belt will be la basically land in the middle of the ratchet. You'll have room to, you know, tighten it up or relax it. Let's say you sit down or you have a heavy meal. Yeah. Just ratchet out a couple notches and yeah. you would be able to be relaxed carrying. Yeah, yeah, which is pretty neat. So the buckle itself, though, to release it, you just got a button on it. That's it, Yeah, right? it's a button. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty neat, man. So yeah, guys, if you're looking for a belt system for your appendix carry, for your next concealed carry, whatever it is, and it's obviously rigid, you see that there, it's it's not, you know, flopping around or anything yeah. like that, which is uh, nice. So yeah, take a look at Next Belt. We're over here now with Gun Owners of America. You guys already know I'm a huge fan of these guys, and really cool, too, that your organization is out here supporting the Gundies as well, because quite frankly, we wouldn't be able to do stuff like this without organizations like you preserving our Second Amendment rights, right? Uh, you guys might recognize Ben, of course. We've had him on the podcast. You've been on the channel a couple of times man <laughs> Dude, it's always good to see you we've got uh, Sam over here with the board of directors as well so thanks for letting me kind of come out and hang out with you guys uh, but really quick just for our audience and our viewers is there anything that you guys would like to just kind of like highlight uh, you know the spotlight right uh, of course the first thing that we're doing right now is the ATF zero tolerance policy uh, so that's getting people eight FFLs on single mistakes, even paperwork mistakes that are innocent. As well as that, we're tackling the pistol brace ban with the CRA and the SHORT Act. So contact your representatives about those two bills. Right, so what you're saying with the zero tolerance thing is if an FFL makes one mistake, the ATF is just what, revoking their license? Yep, you can check out our YouTube video on it. We did a full breakdown, but essentially, uh, Clint, what you said is right. It's a one innocent mistake can lead to 20 years of compliance down the drain. They don't care, they wanna shut you down. Well, that's scary. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like our whole lives. Yeah. All right. So thanks for that update. Make sure you guys are doing exactly what Ben says. Contact your representatives about that. And Sam, what do you got for us? Man, first of all, I want to thank Classic Firearms for being our partners. Oh, thank being, you. Being there with us, allowing us to do what we do to fight uh, these incredible, stupid regulations, but also uh, allowing us to lobby in, in the Congress, in all the legislatures across the country, in California. Um, and, and I tell you what, anybody who wants to join into the fight, because we are winning in the courts from sea to shining sea, thanks to the relationships that we have that gives us the ability and the finances to fight lawsuits in New York, where we are the lead lawsuit there to overturn the uh, CCW Improvement Act, yep. in, in uh, uh, Texas on the arm brace band, which goes all the way to challenge the constitutionality of the NFA 1934. Uh, our victories in, in Oregon that have overturned their anti-gun laws, our lawsuits in Illinois, uh, we've got, you name it, there's, there's a lawsuit to restore the Second Amendment, to overturn unconstitutional laws. We're in the middle of it, either as the, the direct litigants or as uh, supporters with amicus briefs. So everybody, we're going to win in the courts. 
you want to be with us, we welcome you. And 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 we already have a partnership with Classic Firearms, and we are very ecstatic about that, buddy. Yeah, well, thank you, Sam, dude. I honestly, we do really appreciate what you guys are doing. So thank you again. And uh, Ben, always good to <laughs> always good to see you, bro. Remember, guys, repeal the NFA, repeal the GCA, and support the GOA. <laughs> All right, here we are with Dan at Grizzly Targets. Dan, thanks for having us, man. Nice to meet you, Kai. Absolutely. So. Before we started talking to you just now, I got here and you told me some cool stuff. Absolutely. All right, first and foremost, I want to talk about this. <laughs> what is this? This is Ramar. So this is a ballistic resistant steel. It's 1-8 thick. We're talking 7.62, 9 mil that we were talking about, and it's bullet resistant. You point blank and it's going to stop the bullets. You saw the... the I saw the, the testing. The test. So this little 1-8 thick bottle opener, just yeah, for fun, opener. right? Uh, stops as 308 guys 308 that's insane I'm, I I couldn't believe it so yeah. it's fantastic so obviously I'm gonna move on to other targets over here but Absolutely. what makes this so tough so it's the material it's uh, ballistic resistance and it's the molecules that make it a lot tighter that make that steel proprietary to us and uh, the military so you can't really buy this on the market anywhere it's our steel all right, so it's proprietary to you guys. So you guys Are came up with that. Yes, sir. All right, fantastic. So with that being said, obviously, if this is this that strong, uh, you've got all these, like, what is that, 3.8 or quarter so inch? Those, those are 3.8 thick. So okay. we've got our shoot no shoots out here right now, okay. and they are 3.8 thick. We've got our, uh, we got our hostage here, all 3.8 thick. They can come in half inch also. And they're all rated up to a 3.08. 100 yards, 308. 9 okay. mil, 25 yards. Yep, and I noticed the uh, you showed me some targets over here because you were out at the uh, you range yeah, we, yesterday and the minigun. Dylan's minigun went up against our steel and you ran your hand across it. There was it, not a pit. Extremely smooth. So they're rated up to 308. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, the, since there are multiple different ammunitions like the armor piercing and all that, what, which one? Like just the FMJ? The, uh, well, we, we prefer frangibles and ball. Anything with tipped or uh, incineration, yeah, we we highly go against that because it will eat up our steel. I see. Okay. Oh, that is fantastic. So I want to ask this then. So you've got the uh, the sizes that we talked about right here. Yes. Do you do you guys do bigger, smaller, yes. custom work? So we do a lot of custom work. We can any of the posts. We can come at any size. We do stock them online at 48, 53, and 67. So okay. you're going to have your average heights for your steel challenges and stuff like that with the, the height differences. Gotcha. So you've got all kinds of stuff. You do custom work, but you also have all kinds of like poppers over here and this yeah. headshot target over yeah, here. Bob and Noggin and the poppers, everything here was out on the range and we want to show how durable it was. Perfect. And, and where are you guys located? We're in Tampa, Florida. And, and these are made here in Tampa, uh, Tampa in the United yeah, States? Yes, United States. Uh, we're a veteran run company, so and we make everything in house, and we've got a laser machine. So if you think of anything custom, we like to work with people and make custom designs. Perfect. Well, guys, you heard it. Dan over here. Thanks a lot, Dan. Thanks, Really God. appreciate it. Check out Grizzly Targets. Seems super promising. The first thing I'm going to do is take this home, open a beer first. No, not first. Shoot it first. Shoot it first. And then open a beer, right? That's a better way. Test it with the Thanks, beer. Thanks, man. Test it with the gun. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks. Yeah. We're over here now with A3 Tactical. I got Brock to talk with us a little bit. I uh, got to say, man, I shot a lot of your accessories on Foxtrot Mike's guns yesterday out at the range. And I really like your stock setups. No, I appreciate that. Dude, it's some pretty nice stuff. Obviously, some quality material. Can you just tell us a little bit about A3 Tactical, what you guys offer? Yeah, so the biggest thing is we're all shooters. And so we want stuff that you actually can take out there, beat up, and chew. Um, so our three main products, we've got our skeleton stocks. We can team you up at Foxtrot Mike, offers adjustable risers and our different butt stocks. Okay. Um, we also have our new telescoping. Um, so rear Picatinny rail works with any rear Picatinny adapter. Yep, so we so can reach a large variety of firearms. SIG MCX, obviously yes, the Foxtrot Mike lineup. Sorry, Definitely. not even the SIG MCX, yes, but all of the SIGs. PRN Jackal, yes. yes so yeah. larger variety. We also right. offer four different butt pads on the back. Yeah. So it gives you guys a nice selection. Uh, we have a variety of foregrips that we offer. Um, any of our bases you can buy, you can actually swap out, quick unscrew. Yeah. Offer any of our different sizes we have. Dude, that's that's really cool. Actually, that that setup right there with maybe one of the side foldings would look really good on like an MP5. It does. I, yeah. um, and with our MP5 and our PCCs, we yeah. have a plus 10 foregrip angled. Gives you that extra grip and yeah. uh, a lot more comfortable. 
That is really neat. Now you guys also have the different back plates and all that as well. Multiple different adapters. We have about 15 different adapters, and these from MP5, Strybogs, APCs. Oh, that's really cool, man. So that's that's nifty stuff, dude. Because like I said, I was just feeling around on the products yesterday, and uh, like I said, shooting it with Foxtrot mic, and the quality is there. I can feel that. I, I do appreciate that. Yeah, and it does feel really, really good. The ergonomics are there. And yeah, so A3 Tactical, guys, if you'd like to see some of these uh, giveaways that we do, kit it out with some of their gear, let us know down in the comments section below. I think we'd, uh, I think we could figure something out. I definitely think so. Okay, all right, cool. Thanks, man, Brock. I appreciate yeah, you taking appreciate the time. It. We're over here now with the AR Takedown Tool. We've got Killian here to talk about it because it's a really, from what you've showed me so far, a really nifty device. And if you're like me and you're always like, you know, finding a, I don't know, a detent laying around and you're like, okay, well it's time to build a new AR or you just wanna go ahead and disassemble the one that you have to get a really deep clean or anything like that or just maintain it. You guys have come up with a really nifty, simple device that holds everything pretty much you need to take down your AR, right? Yeah, absolutely. Other than, you know, the best fidget toy in the firearms industry, it yeah. also completely disassembles and assembles uh, like 90% of the AR. Um, so it's brass tips and it's 100% made in the USA, black oxided and heat treated. So the way that it works is you put it on your takedown pin, you pull back, and you release, just like that. You could also use this end to pop out your trigger pins. You can use this to help install your trigger pins as well. This little pressure pin back here, you can push down, pop out your buffer spring. Um, you can use this to install your magazine release, because my finger's fat and they don't fit in there all the way. And then this end unscrews. Yeah, this part, I like. So I like. you can take apart your front detent pin, but you can also install your front detent pin as well. So there's a cross hole there where you push the detent in, twist it, and you slide it through just like that. And then we also have, uh, we just recently found out that this thing can take apart bolts as well. So you take, take this pin, push, that, push out that little cotter pin, and now you can take apart your bolt. Just like that easy enough so it's pretty much the only tool that you need without having to have additional tools hammers or anything like that in order just to go ahead and start breaking your AR down yeah absolutely and then so we released this two years of Chacho last year or earlier this year uh, we just released this gunsmith set mm -hmm. so uh, we had a lot of people ask us about like roll pins and using the brass for the roll pins yeah. um, because there's steel that's gonna damage the, the brass yeah. so we came out with a, a tool for that so you set your roll pin in there Put it right here, you pull back, you set it, yeah. and then you can flip it around, it has a ball in there, to keep it centered, then you can make it flush, just like that. And then, so we have two sizes, for the two larger and the two smaller, so the gas block, yep. uh, your trigger guard, forward assist, for right here, and then also your uh, bolt, bolt release as well. So you and then, pretty much thought of all, everything that you might need. Yeah, yeah all right the pain there. in the ass parts. Yeah, right. You know? And then this is for AKs, and then this one works very well for pistols because it's so small. Right. You can pop out all your pistol pins. You also use this to take apart your upper as well. Depends on what type of firearm you have. Push down on the firing pin spring, pop off the back plate. Also installing the back plate, push down on the, on the spring, push down on the ejector spring, pop in your back plate and you're good to go. Easy enough. And that's very interesting man and again i mean we're we do a lot of different build series stuff like that you know i can see where some tools like this would be very useful and uh something like this i think uh maybe you guys would like to see included in different giveaways or at least on the website i think this is something that would be kind of cool to carry um packaging made in the u.s as well so even a little go. mom and pop shop right down the street from where we are yeah we use them that's awesome, man. Get sprung. Love it. <laughs> AR takedown tool. AR takedown tool. Thanks, Killian, for taking yeah. the time, man. Let us know what you guys think down below. We're over here now with Coltac. I've got Dusted here. Thanks for taking the time, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, of course. And I just got to tell you right now, um, ever since I've had my Mark 18 okay. with my Yankee Hill silencer, which was the first silencer I ever bought, I've had a Coltec suppressor rep. Yeah. And uh, it has withstand the test of time, the absolute abuse that I give it. And I just tighten down the crap out of it, and it stays put, especially with the insulation, protects it. It's pretty awesome. A good suppressor cover is going to keep from those burns, especially if you're transitioning down to the thigh stuff like that it's pretty awesome stuff but anyway since then you have expanded your product line quite a bit correct yeah so tell me tell me what you got going on man right so yeah suppressor covers was the first item we ever come out with and it's still a, an extremely popular item and now we're expanding I mean well over the years we've expanded into support bags uh, fanny packs night vision accessories uh, hand warmers and yeah 
coming soon, our handguard wrap. This is going to be out next week. We're releasing that. Uh, so that way you don't burn your hands. Um, and then, yeah. And just to show you guys, there's a good idea of their, what one of their suppressor covers looks like. Correct. Yeah. This is our corset, so it's it's built to take a beating yeah. and keep going. That's awesome. It looks yeah. great, too. Thank you. Um, yeah, and then uh, bino harnesses, uh, we also do this. So, And it's you can use it for more than just binos, um, but it's got this magnetic zipper up top here, so it just shuts itself, seals everything out, so dust and dirt. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Now, I really like this idea quite a bit. You've obviously got it hooked up with you know, a knife, uh, with a bear mace. You've yep. got all sorts of good things that are happening here. Correct. I really love this technology, by the way, because that magnet allows you to get in there pretty quick without having to undo buttons, zippers. Right. That is really cool, man. And something I think, I could see this being incorporated into like a can carry type of bag, like almost like a can carry like thigh rig or something. So, great um, idea, we're gonna work on it. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome, man. But yeah, something like that would look really good. I mean, I feel like almost like clothing. Like uh, some different accessories, different clothing could probably use this instead of regular zippers or something. Why know? not? I mean, yeah, we can do it anywhere. Yeah. And I think um, Premier Body Armor is right next door, too. I feel like we could collaborate on something a little offline here. I like where your mind's going. Yeah, yeah, okay. But uh, anyway, but yeah, so you've got all sorts of shooting accessories. I know Ryan was already pointing this out, that he has right. this exact same rail on his AK. Correct. And that this wrap here, it gets hot. They, right? And so the wrap really helps with that, right? Correct. Yeah. So hand guards are getting lighter, thinner, and thus they're getting hotter. hotter. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you burn the snot out of your hands pretty easily. Right. So. No, that's that's really a neat setup. So, that and it feels really good as well. I yeah. like the look of it. Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And it looks like you got even a tripod that's wrapped and all that as well. Right. So yeah. So we got tripod accessories. Um, so leg wraps, we've got uh, a bag that you can mount on top, we've got a sling here. Uh, you know, we, we really focus a lot on competitive long range shooting as well, which tripods are an integral yeah. part of it now. Right. Um, yeah, we manufacture all of our gear in our own shop here in the U.S. Yeah, which is awesome. So, yeah. Like I said, I've been using y'all's products for a very long time now, uh, continue to do so. And I'm looking forward to what we can collaborate on and work on and let us know what you guys would like to see and perhaps a giveaway collaboration. I'm in. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely be trying this out and see how that works. Perfect. Cool. Thank you so much, Thank Dustin. You. And we are finishing off the day of Expo. We had a range day yesterday and we've got a helicopter behind us, which I don't know, it seems like a pretty cool thing maybe to end the day with. And of course, later tonight is the actual red carpet event, the award ceremony that the Gundys is hosting, celebrating those 2A advocates, celebrating those of us that are out here, and uh, hopefully bringing you entertaining content and just having ultimately a really good time. Hope you guys have enjoyed the coverage. There's a helicopter back there already landing, which is pretty sweet, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But uh, maybe we can hop on one of these, have some fun, and then get to the coverage tonight. a little bit more spiffy than normal and that's because we're here at this um almost red carpet event except i think they forgot 
Actually, I think they forgot the red carpet, but uh, that's okay. The year is 2023. It is the Gundy Awards, and we're excited to be here because we're here to celebrate the Second Amendment and all of those that have a voice to talk about it, to promote it, and to preserve it. Thank you, Gun Owners of America. But anyway, thanks to Forge Relations for having us, and of course, we're out here at Drive Tanks. Dude, I've seen some pretty cool stuff. Oh, I've seen some really cool yeah. stuff too, and I, I don't know why I tried to put yeah, and I don't know why I tried to. Yeah, you have one. Anyway, you use mine and I can use yours. Okay. Anyway, this is getting weird. Uh, but yeah, I, I was in a helicopter today. Thanks to Heli Gunner, uh, got to shoot. I, I did get to shoot a full auto out of a helicopter, so that was pretty freaking cool. Um, we got to feed a giraffe. We did. We saw an RPG go out. Yeah. Yeah, pet a rhino. Pet a rhino. Yeah. And th that skin has to be level three A. <laughs> At least, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, but you know, big shout out to Ox Ranch, Ox Safari for for setting that up as well. This is just a really cool event. Guys are out here riding around in helicopters, driving tanks. It's literally called drive tanks. We got to see a tank shoot. We got to do all sorts of fun stuff out at the range day. This has just been an overall awesome event, and we're excited to be here now on the uh, red carpet. Uh, you know, celebrating all of these gun tubers and everybody else that's been you know shadow band like us <laughs> but hey it's all good we're here and we're ready to have some fun so stay tuned and let's find out who actually wins some gundy's awards we've got stacy and mitchell here we've got that gun guy right yes sir that's awesome man <laughs> and uh, of course so thank you guys so much for attending and all and stacy right yep that gun wife that gun wife <laughs> that's <laughs> perfect man what have you guys experienced so far have you had a good time oh yeah it's been super yeah. fun yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Got to see minigguns and tanks. It was a freaking blast. They had a tank ride, dude. They had a tank ride. And, and the tank ride also? Yes. Oh, my God, dude. Well, that's freaking awesome, man. We hope you guys enjoy the ceremony and all. Thank you for attending. And, of course, you guys, make sure you're checking out That Gun Wife, That Gun Guy. All right, now we've got over here these fine characters. Oh, my goodness. Langley Outdoors. How are you, how are you doing? I'm doing great, but better than I see you. Yeah. yeah. You oh, made my dude, evening. Dude, that's, that is In so nice. In the middle nice. of nowhere. It's a low bar, but you made it. Oh, Why? That's, Why? That's awesome. Why? And Anthony, guys, arm scholar, good to see you, good bro. To see you again, brother. Absolutely, Jared, guns and gadgets. What's up, buddy? Guns and gadgets. Jared, pleasure seeing you, man. Pleasure <laughs> again. Yeah. That's a pretty snazzy huh? Do you like it? I like it. Yeah. I like it. I'll give it to you. I don't think it fit. Like, like, <laughs> on this <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, tell us, guys. So, first of all, a couple of you guys are nominated for something, right? I think oh, all three of us are on the same thing. Same category. Oh, what category is it? Top what are we doing? Voices. There it is. Top, Top two, two A voices. voices. Oh, dude, no, just get the fighting. Right, We're gonna get the fighting. Scissors rock yeah, yeah, scissors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right move. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, hey, if you're not following Langley Outdoors, the Armed Scholar, and Guns and Gadgets, you should because they're keeping you up to date on all of the Second Amendment news. Um, uh, your premier sources. <laughs> no, no. Oh. One premier source. <laughs> one premier source. <laughs> one, one, one premier source. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, hey, make sure, like I said, you're subscribed, you're following, and of course, guys, best of luck. Oh, yeah, man. you got Look it. You, the <laughs> talent. The red man. I feel like I haven't seen you guys like 17 <laughs> times already. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so we've got Washington Gun Law over here. Bill. How you doing? Pleasure having you. Good. Good to yourself? be here. Yeah, thank you. Clint over here. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Yeah, huge fan. Huge fan. Yeah, yeah. Thank absolutely. you, man. I appreciate I love, that. Yeah. I love Bill's videos. Yeah. He's he's an attorney out in Washington yeah. State, Kirkland area. Yep. And he is constantly keeping us updated on the laws, interpreting the laws, the ATF rules and some other stuff, right? The gift that keeps on giving. And it's yes. coming from a very credible source. So I, I watch his videos all the time. I appreciate Fantastic. that. Thank you, man. Absolutely. Thank you really very much. happy to meet you. Yeah, good yeah. likewise. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. So guys, please make sure you're following the Washington gun law over here because, well, hey, staying up to date on all this, is it means a lot. So hey, thanks again, Bill. Absolute pleasure meeting yeah, you. Good, good luck. Yep. Thank, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. All right, you've already seen classic firearms coverage of the expo out here at the Gundy Awards. And of course, we got our buddy Boone over here with cool fire training and Kai what are you doing to this poor man I don't know. oh this is the uh, the airsoft guy the, 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 no don't oh, say airsoft. airsoft it goes it goes beyond <laughs> airsoft call me yeah. airsoft again you call me no, airsoft. I would never do that again <laughs> <laughs> but guys if you haven't seen core cool fire training check it out this is actually simulating real live fire reset getting your site breaking that picture and getting back on site Boone, you guys got cool technology man really cool, it's man. it's a lot of fun I mean there's some days that 
you know, people hate their job, and there are days that uh, I don't have, just like that. I mean, I love going into work every day, yeah. um, solving the issues that people are wanting to shoot in their house, people are wanting to train in their environment, and man, that's that's a great thing, especially in, in times we live in now, not yeah. being able to go to the range, uh, whatever happens, I love it. Dude, that's awesome, and we've already been talking about getting one of your systems in the Classic Firearms video room, so that way whenever we have guests come out, maybe we have a scoreboard, see who can beat whose time, stuff like that, you know, so oh I'm thinking that would be pretty interesting. Oh Sounds like uh, I'm making a trip to the Classic Headquarters. Yeah, then. yes it go. does. Boone, thanks man. Enjoy Thank your you night, alright? Yeah. I'm sorry thanks, I pointed man. a knife Thank at you. you. <laughs> You're good, man. <laughs> alright, now we've got you guys over here. I'll, sorry, first of all, introduce yourselves. Let everybody know who you are and you just said you were nominated for Photo of the Year? I was, yes yeah. sir. My name is Alex Rowland. Um, you can find me on Caliber Row on Instagram. But yes, I was, I'm so blessed and so thankful to be here. This event is amazing. It brings all creatives together and just everybody in the industry. Uh, it's really nice to have something and it's a lot of camaraderie. So I'm very happy to be here. Oh, absolutely. And I assume you've had a pretty good time. All of you guys have a good time since you've been out here. Yes, very much, yeah. very much. And we love Drive Tanks too. We love the Gundies. We yeah. love everybody that's sponsoring. So thank you guys so much for being a part of it. Did you guys get to feed a giraffe? Yeah. I did. <laughs> and it was so fun. It was, I loved yes. it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. it was great. Well, that's awesome. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. And guys, enjoy your night. And hopefully you enjoy the rest of the time here at the Gundy Awards. Thank, thank you, you guys so much. much. Thank you yeah. guys. We've got Ian over here now that has also been, you said, nominated finalist for Top 2A Voices. Yeah. And uh, which is which is pretty funny. First of all, give us your tag and a little bit of background, please. So I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. I'm online at Runkle of the Bailey. And uh, yeah, the voice of the Second Amendment thing is hilarious with a Canadian. <laughs> but I talk about... Uh, like Canadian criminal and firearms issues. So there's a ton of that going on. Unfortunately, our government is giving me a ton of content. So um, it's been a great time here yeah. though. I'm so glad I came. How does yeah. it feel to be in a free country? I've. I haven't been able to shoot an AR in a long time, and it feels really good. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, there's a couple of things you probably had the opportunity to shoot here that you haven't been able to shoot in a long time. Any full autos? I I got to go with the uh, the MP5, yeah. and that's been on my list. Yeah. And you know, there's just nowhere to do it in Canada. Yeah. That was a blast. I had great a great time with that. So Dude, well, that's freaking awesome, man. Well, congratulations for being one of the finalists. Best of luck to you. Thank yeah. you. We'll yeah. uh, we'll have to see because as I said, that'll be the funniest thing. Yeah. But uh, We'll see how it goes. But we'll see. And also, <laughs> best of luck to you, you know, up north up there. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed, because <laughs> it's, uh, it's a difficult time right now. We understand it, man. So, Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank man. you. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Thanks for having me. We've got Israel over here now that's been nominated for Breakout Creator of the Year. So that's pretty awesome, man. So, yeah, give us, uh, you said, uh, what was the channel name again? The channel's called Shift Fire. That's We're right. nominated for Breakout Creator of the Year. Uh, where We explore all things military culture with my buddy Cam, uh, who's a former 275 Ranger, and oh, I'm a awesome. former uh, First Group Special Forces Green Beret. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, I'm a Pogue Marine Reservist, so that's pretty cool. It's all right. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, Israel, that's awesome, man. Best of luck to Thank you. Thank you so much. And guys, yeah, make sure you're giving them a follow, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the Gundy Awards, man. Thanks for having me, man. You got it. So we've been hearing something zipping around in the freaking sky over here, and we've got some fast freaking drones. Dude, that is pretty cool stuff, man. So yeah, let us know who you are and everything, and exactly, dude, Again, really impressive stuff. Awesome, thank you. So my name's Fluxy FPV. Uh, I've been racing FPV drones since 2019 professionally, and I came out to get some really cool footage this weekend. Dude, what's the speed of that thing? Yeah. So the max speed on the drone that I've been flying around here is 130 miles an hour. Oh, and 130. It, it, it does it in less than a second. Yeah. Less than a second. Yeah. Okay, what's the altitude on that thing? Yeah. Um, for FAA regulations, 399 feet. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, man, dude. Well, hey, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night here at the Gundy Awards. Again, really impressive technology. I haven't seen I something. Chinese like, balloon, but I was like, this can't be that fast. No, right, no, no that, that, those move a little bit slower. Yeah, they're pretty soft. Yeah. Uh, and they go a little bit more than 399 feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure meeting you, man. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. you We've got our friend Lindsay over here now, Baby Yoda. Dude, how have you been enjoying this so far? I have been enjoying it so much. Yes. yes. Well, yes. it was cool to see you at Shot Show over at Swamp Fox, hanging out over there. Have you been able to run any of the new optics? Not yet. I'm still, I'm still trying to get them to send me some. Oh well, you, <laughs> yeah. you could just come over to Classic, and we got, we got a bunch of them just on the wall, ready to go. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, okay. So there's, so there's that. All What's right. your favorite thing you've done so far? Uh, oh, here at Gundy's. Obviously the shooting, yes. but um, my favorite. Uh, rifle I was able to shoot was the Foxtrot Mike 
nine millimeter full auto. Oh yes, I, I had believe so that. So much fun with all the full autos. So. Oh well, that's freaking awesome. Well, hey, hope you enjoy the rest of the night at the Gundy Awards. Always good to see you. Always good to see yeah, you. We've got Taryn now here with Taryn Tactical. Man, it's always good to see you. Good to see you guys. Yeah, absolutely, man. We got to talk to you. Uh, I think late last year about Foxtrot Mike. Some of the cool stuff you guys got coming. Of course, the new John Wick is coming. We always yeah. see the TTI guns and everything. We're excited, dude. I got to shoot a couple things out here. What all did you bring with you this year? Uh, we brought uh, three Sand Vipers, uh, the John Wick 4 Pit Viper. Uh, we the uh, Dylan brought a fully auto uh, one of the TTI MPXs from John Wick 2, yeah. 3, sorry, and we had the TR9 and just had a good time shredding all kind of fun stuff. Which is awesome. By the way, I got to run the full auto 12 gauge uh, from that's coming up, I'm pretty sure. The and Genesis. The Genesis. Yeah. That thing was fast, smooth, recoil impulse was amazing. Great job on that. It's even softer shooting now than the first generations. Really? It's insane. Dude. Yeah. I, well, I, well, I don't think I shot the first gen, but that one was amazing. Yeah, so. it, is, it is the most insane shotgun. Like I, I spent years shooting three gun and I tried to be like, running the, 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 the AK models and they jammed all the time. I did pull off two wins with it with the jamming, but it's a whole nother level this gun. It's yeah. un, it feeds everything. W wimpy ammo, hot stuff, doesn't give a crap. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, that's freaking awesome, man. Taryn, dude, I love again your products and everything you're doing too. And Hollywood, getting these guys, these actors and everything out there and actually shooting, that's cool. Thank you so much. Anything new coming up? Uh, movies? No, products wise, any new pistols? Yeah, there, there are, but they're, they're related to films and I, I always want the movie to do the trailer first I see. before I reveal, I want to jump the gun and let them do their thing and then now we can show the gun. That's, that's, why, that's why the Joe Rogan videos came out this week because they didn't show the Dracaris uh, Gen 12 until the trailer where he's shredding all these fools with Dragon's Breath. So, that's yeah. awesome. Well, I'm excited. I'm yeah. still waiting. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much, thank Taryn. You. All right. I hope you go yeah. see it. Oh, thank absolutely, sure. man. Thanks for yeah. having me. We're over here now with the Peace of Mind, the Southern Draw. You guys are so freaking cool. I've had an absolute blast out here thank shooting you. with you guys, too. And uh, all right, tell me, favorite things about the gunnies. What was the favorite gun you shot? Ooh, the double guns. The oh, double, oh, the the double pistols. Oh, yeah. Dark Storm Industries? Yes. The double Double pistols all day long. Seven and a half inch ARs, five five six, create a lot of freaking noise. Oh, wow. But Loved so it. freaking fun. So man. much fun. Did you guys do a tank or a helicopter ride? We didn't. Did did no, we were stuck in well not stuck in there, but we were in there <laughs> making all kinds of friends. We were making all kinds we of friends. Too much to wreck. But yeah. Yeah. well there is that. But you guys at least did do the safari, right? No, I did it last year, but we didn't. No, oh, we well you pet the rhino. We literally were making friends all day long. Oh, that's well, that, all we were doing. Well, <laughs> that's, that's the best part. Yeah, I mean that is actually a pretty good time. Yes. So hey, first of all, love each of y'all's channels. That's awesome yeah. stuff. If you guys are looking for more of that, that woman's voice, what to carry, and all sorts of different things. Make sure you're checking out Southern Draw at the Peace of Mind. Thank you. Awesome stuff, guys. We've got Akarta Systems over here. These guys had some really cool targets out here. We saw one of them, I think, like on a little truck or something. I mean, that yeah. was kind of cool. Yeah, it's right behind me. It's a lot of fun. That's for the after party. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's yeah, awesome. A little bit shot up, but he'll still serve beer. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. So tell us a little bit about your targets. Okay, so it's a new product. It's meant to challenge the shooter, yeah. and, and you know, and just give them a, an excellent experience in their training. Yeah. The idea is to is to really just make them honest. Yeah. And of course, the media feedback is a. It, it's just fun yeah. on the range if you wanted to you know blow stuff up yeah. and if you want to take it real serious it's definitely going to meet you there too so it's 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 been a long time coming but we're here well man we're hey we're happy to see your yeah. targets out on the range we appreciate you guys a car to systems ladies and gentlemen check them out thank you so Thanks, much man. appreciate you. you got it we've got daniela over here again nice to meet you as nice well to meet you. yeah i appreciate it and i'm sorry what'd you say danny dad dad danny, dad. danny daniela you know, that works dad. <laughs> yeah. the same name. she's named after me <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's awesome well you've been are you nominated is that, is that right? yeah i was nominated yeah. for best shooter for best shooter well that is freaking awesome so i mean really impressive stuff by the way i have actually been following you for quite some time oh, thank you. absolutely and i aspire to actually shoot as well as you do it's, it's going to take a lot more yeah thanks kai i appreciate it <laughs> it's going to take a lot more rounds and a lot more practice but anyway well hey best of luck tonight absolute pleasure meeting both of you guys and uh, again daniela where can they find you you can find me on instagram youtube facebook at shooter daniela if you don't already know yeah. you're You've you've already yeah. lost. You're, you're missing yeah. out. You've yeah. already lost. But get out and shoot some USPSA. You said it. You're, you're precisely right. You need to get some ammunition. That's right. 
and you need to practice. And guess what? You can actually practice without ammo. It's dry firing. That, I am a huge advocate for that, and I get called out for it sometimes, which I don't understand, but Shit. anyway. Thanks for being here. Hey, Daniela, Danny, thank you guys so much again. So nice Appreciate you. you guys. <laughs> hey, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Madison Cawthorn with us here. Dude, pleasure meeting you. Good to meet you, brother. It's an honor. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Honestly, I'm happy to meet you. This guy, we all know who he is. Know, same here. Yeah, absolutely. What? All right, well, anyway, hey, man, I hope you've absolutely been enjoying yourself. You got to shoot some machine guns or something? Absolutely. Machine guns, RPGs, tanks, helicopters, whatever you can shoot. Yeah. We did not shoot at the helicopters. We'll make that very clear. No, just out of the out of the helicopters. I wanted to do the tank thing though. That was phenomenal. Oh my god. That was phenomenal. I yes. Dude, I mean the entire fire. I mean, dude, obviously yes. motive. All the ground yes. rose up. It was, yeah. it was the best. It was it, the best. It was a lot of freaking awesomeness, man. And again, Madison, absolute pleasure meeting you, dude. Yes, sir. Dude, hey, thanks, hey, man. We'll see you out on the range, thanks. ladies and gentlemen. We've got Will and Ben. This is Forge Relations. This is the reason why the Gundy Awards is taking place. So thank you guys. You this has so been welcome. freaking awesome. Awesome, man. Thank dude. you for being here. Thank dude. you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Dude, Good absolutely. job on the red carpet, too. Uh, are you, awesome. Are awesome. You, are you sure I mean, he kept the Well, you know, it's a great, it's a great it's, carpet, a little yeah. dusty, but it's, it's very fitting to the atmosphere. I think this is perfect for drive tech, wouldn't you say? I mean, I think actually it makes a lot of sense. Ben, what were you saying? I was saying you kept the line going a little too long there, but we're doing good now. We're doing good. <laughs> I'm sorry you I can be long-winded. Like he does lot, like to talk. But you're doing great. It's Absolutely almost like I'm paid to do that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Anyway, no, guys, honestly, thank yeah. you for hosting of such course, an event. Thank you for putting on something like this, really bringing all these 2A creators out here. It's freaking cool, man. So, again, Ben, Will, Forge Relations. Thank you, guys. We've got Van Letha with us over here now. And are you co-hosting this? Van Lethia. Yeah, Van Lethia. Oh, my Van God. Van Lethia. Redo. Yep, that was terrible. Yeah. Anyway. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yes, I am co-hosting this event tonight. And this isn't your first time. This is not my first rodeo, yeah. but it is my second. Yeah, and so this has actually come from a long way because you were one of the original co-hosts with Will back yes. in like year one, right? This was Will and I's original brainchild because we are such huge fans of the show The Office. Oh, yes. So that's how this came about. I remember that time I was moving from Oregon to Omaha and on my drive because it was 26 hours we talked half the way about the categories we were going to do yeah. about the event in itself so yeah it's come a long way dude well that is so neat man and, and to see how much it's grown too because you guys were talking to me earlier like it's one crazy. speaker and now oh we shared a microphone yeah. the very first go around we were going back and forth and I kept taking it from Will because <laughs> uh, he kept like being on it too much and he's like oh I'm so nervous I was pretty much just there for emotional support yeah, right. I think I was just like his emotional support human <laughs> but, support him. yes. Did, didn't you say you're like his Dwight to his Scott? I I am the Dwight to Michael's to no to, to Will's, Will's Michael, Michael Scott. Scott. <laughs> Will's Michael Scott. I'm Dwight. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Well, dude, it's so cool to see this. Uh, Van Lethia, make sure I get that right this yes. time. Yes. There it is. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. You got it. Bulletproof Blonde, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we've got over here. How have you been enjoying it so far? You were over with us last night doing the Night Vision beer pong. Yeah, that was great. That was my first time ever playing beer pong, and I did it with Night Vision. Oh, my <laughs> first time Night Vision, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good night. We had a good time. Oh, dude, Not many actually, people can say that. No, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, first of all, other than, you know, obviously doing that favorite thing you got to shoot got to do since you've been here at drive tanks for the gunners i went in a helicopter like five times <laughs> like, like five, five times, times. <laughs> and i made friends with all of them yeah. and uh they let me sit in the front yeah. and uh they took their ears off because i was way too loud that they could hear me just fine <laughs> they said they didn't need the microphone or the ears for me so yeah. it was a good time <laughs> I had a great time. I actually, I actually almost cried because there was like a beautiful moment where we were over the river and there was animals and it was a great moment. What? Life is great. Dude, that's an awesome experience. <laughs> Again, Hella Gunner, Hella Gunner out here at Ox Ranch at Drive Tanks. That is such a neat thing. So yeah. Bulletproof Blonde, dude, good to meet you. Good Check to meet you yeah, too. Yeah. I appreciate you. Thank good you. meeting you, seeing you. Good meeting you. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of the Gundy Awards. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Yeah. We're over here now. We've got Amanda and Hannah with us too. And guys, it's an absolute pleasure for First of all, meeting you. It's good to yeah. meet you. Yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. And um, you're nominated for something, right? Something. Something. We're gonna find out. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, if you if you haven't known it, Hannah for yeah, dude, outdoorsy is is an understatement. I've seen you noodling. I've seen you do all the fun stuff. Absolute badass and big fan personally. So Appreciate keep it up. That. Oh, absolutely. Now, what was your favorite thing about drive tanks so far? Well, we got here a little late, yeah. so. 
But we got to pet, like, we had, we got to feed a giraffe. Yes. First of all, that was cool. And corn. take selfies with the giraffe. Yes, yeah. corn. And yeah. take selfies with the giraffe. Yes. We almost got to pet a rhino. Oh, Not quite. Right they wouldn't get up for us. But that was cool. Yeah. And we're still cool. looking for the kangaroo that we can pet. Yeah. Oh, Scar. That, his yeah. name is Scar. Scar. That's yeah. the best thing ever. Dirty. Yeah. That was our goal. Yeah. That was our goal. Yeah. And we hadn't found him yet. 10 out of 10 would recommend petting Scar. He's super nice, super awesome. And hey, congratulations for being nominated. And best of luck to you. Appreciate it. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> We've got Tim here now from Patch Operations. First of all, big fan. Love what you guys do. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you it. All appreciate the custom it. things that you put out there and all that. And uh, I, I got to say, the thing I think I'm probably the biggest fan of is the fact that you guys are sponsoring the after party. Yeah, Patch Ops brings the party every time. That's, uh, <laughs> it's going uh, yeah, to be wild. So well, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, I think I kind of hit a little bit on it. But yeah, to give us a little lowdown on what Patch Ops is and what you guys do. Patch Ops, we're a morale patch company. So we make custom PVC embroidered laser cut patches. Um, um, for, we're big supporters of the 2A industry and women in the 2A, and uh, we're very outspoken, so we're not the type of company that will ever bend a knee to the rage mob. So yeah. if you follow us, we're at Patch Operations on Instagram. You'll pick up on that real quick. So I'm a, I'm a Marine. Uh, for, Simper. Yeah, so <laughs> five, uh, So I, uh, yeah, I definitely make sure that our views and our community is, is well represented. Hell yeah, man. So, well, that's yeah. awesome, dude. I'm loving the jacket. I'm hey, like, yeah. I don't know how you see it, man. No, I was just saying, I, 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 I wasn't going to recognize Oh yeah, man, I, can see it. I don't feel <laughs> invisible anymore. This is weird. <laughs> well, Tim, hey, appreciate cool. it, man. Cool, brother. Hey, thanks hey, again. You guys stick around for the party, man. It's oh, don't be a worry, good time. we will. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> appreciate it, Tim. Patch operations. We've got Mendel and Eli here now from RTS. Absolute pleasure, guys. And uh, when I gave my speech the other night and said, hey, if you're here, we haven't worked together on anything, and you want to work together, find me. Well, it's an absolute honor to find you guys. Uh, so tell me a little bit about what you guys got going on with RTS. <laughs> Point at each other. It's okay. All right. yeah. So we're we're a very unique place in the marketplace. We um we make products like bulletproof memory foam pillows for people that are home. We also do stuff for law enforcement, so the top of the line products. We look at it as a trickle effect. So we market to the most badass people. We make gear that stands up to everything, and that trickles down. Whether you're an influencer, whether you're home protection, a good American, or you're a guy out in the field deploying, we have everything. Dude, that's really cool. I saw some of y'all's gear inside, and I gotta say, I looked first of all quality. Love the laser cut and everything else that you guys have on your plate carriers looks really really good i need to try some of it out quite honestly i mean i love the diversity out in the uh, out in the industry and i want to try it that's all there yeah, is to well, it one of our plates one of our plates got shot by the minigun i saw that like 17 rounds in a millisecond yes um edge shots double shots right next to each other yeah. nothing went through yeah. so um Dude, yeah I, I saw it i mean there there was some well, usually you want to kind of spread out the shot placement on body armor well these are some yeah. tight groups again from a 7.62 minigun this thing yeah. was lighting it up and yeah, it yeah, held that together was pretty great. fun it yeah. held great so again rts well, we're very excited this is our yeah. first year yeah and we're very excited to be here dude well hey i'm excited to see you guys yeah, excited for y'all to be here we'll hang out after yeah, the, look, the after party we look, yeah. we look forward to getting some stuff out to you getting yeah. your raw opinion dude That's all that matters absolutely man hey i, I think you have a few guns to shoot them with maybe yeah maybe maybe go easy on our armor go easy on our armor hey I gotta be honest, I gotta be fair, I gotta be open, all right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> if, if the minigun could do what it did to our armor, we're very confident in whatever you put it to the test with. I got 50 cows. We're not so confident anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've got my friend here, honored to call a friend, Eric. Dude, it's so good to see you. What's up, brother? How you doing? Well, I'm doing very well. I'm a little naked right now because I don't have my SIG 365X macro with my Alpha Omega Kydex holster right now, but Shame that's, I know, that's okay. That's okay, but hey, Alpha Omega Kydex holsters, you probably aren't gonna have to say too much because I think I got it, but I can tell you right now, custom-made Kydex holsters for just about all your needs. If you're asking what I'm running typically, as you guys often do on my leg shroud and all that. It's Alpha Omega holsters. Uh, you do the EDC trays. EDC trays, yep. EDC trays, wallets, level two, range uh, range holsters, yep. uh, the Flex, the X-153 Flex carry, inside the waistband standards, outside the waistbands, off body carry, the Essential, which is for designed for backpack, yep. Velcro backed. I mean, you name it, we can do it. We've got some new products that are gonna be coming out. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about right now. That's fair. But let's just say maybe something to do with a suppressor and a holster. Little nugget. 
I don't know. All right, that's yeah. exciting there's for me. There's some more stuff that's going to be yeah. coming out. Um, okay. There's some new products. I'm actually going to dive into a different realm that's not even Kydex related. Oh, okay. Um, so that's coming. The new shop is being worked on, so oh, I'm trying to get cool. the we're ex expanded. So that's yeah. great. Um, but yeah, so there's some stuff coming out for 2023 that we're really looking forward to doing. Well, that's really exciting, man. And first of all, I want to thank you because if you guys remember, I can still carry loadout video. It was Alpha Omega Kydex holsters that said, "Hey, you guys need holsters, we'll send them to you." You pretty much had those things turn around quick, man. Yep. And I really do appreciate that. I catch you guys that, yeah. in the front of the line. I'm going to admit it. Sorry yeah. to everybody else out there that had orders, but yeah, yeah I did catch you guys out in front of the line. So. Yeah, well, hey, we, we appreciate it, man. And of course, hey, we hope that actually kind of showed a little bit of the stress that we put our gear under and just how high quality your stuff is. I haven't yeah. broken, cracked, worn out anything yet, which is kind of impressive. <laughs> Test it. Try it. Beat it up. Yeah. Give it a shot. See if you can break it. And if you do, give me a call and let me know, and I'll either replace it or fix it. That's awesome. Eric, absolute pleasure, man. Where can Great they find, because uh, I know social media has been kind of a, a, a jerk to you. So oh, where, can they, where can they currently find Alpha Mega Kydex holsters? So the new business page is AOK Holsters. I hate it, but it's what I got. <laughs> Um, another one is AO.Kydex Holsters. That's the secondary um, Instagram page. And then obviously AlphaOmegaKydex.com, which has my email and my cell phone number on it. That's awesome. Eric, absolute pleasure. Thank Again, you so thank much. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, everything man. you guys can do. Guns Out TV, Mr. John Keys over here. Dude, it's always such a good time seeing you. We're running drills against each other, and I'm typically right. winning, and it's awesome. It's typically. Typically. Yeah. typically. You well, use okay. the right <laughs> word, Clint. Typically, right? That usually means like that's a majority of the time yeah so, yeah you know, but but, yeah. but you're not talking about when you're running trails against me because yeah. we've only oh. never done it we've only never done it Clint I think we actually have it on camera no, like that no, no, not me against you Clint yeah, well, that's just, you. well that's because you didn't yeah. rise to my level mm. Wow all right. okay all right you know I'll what? give you I'll give you that under that circumstance but I've challenged you several times and you've never Accepted the challenge. Are you gonna accept it today, right now? Yeah, what, what's the challenge? Whatever you wanna do. All right, you're gonna to come to Class of Arms, go against him. Yeah, yeah, there we go, done, done. Coming soon, Guns Out TV on Classic Firearms, and then when we win and take the belt from Classic Firearms, then we'll never let him come to the channel and get it back. It's not gonna matter because I'm just gonna beat his ass anyway, so. No, <laughs> not even gonna happen. Unless it's knife throwing, because Clint can throw some knives, okay? Knives, axes, <laughs> What do they do with the Marines? Is that what they're teaching you? Hey man, one mind, any weapon, that's what they say. Yeah, oh, sure. that is what they say, isn't yeah, it? That is what they say. You just made that up. No, that's what they say. <laughs> Okay. When did they start saying that? I don't know. I've been out for a while. Yeah, I mean, on 2011, that's when I entered. And oh, that's okay. What they're yeah, saying yeah. You see, that was there. There it is. Yeah. yeah. No, they weren't saying it when I was <laughs> in. I got out in 2008. Oh, damn, damn you're old. Thank you for your service. Hey, man. Bro. Listen, I'm wise. Okay. <laughs> I'm wise. <laughs> <laughs> John, Whatever, dude, it's man. always good yeah. to see you. Always bro. great to see you, man. Listen, yeah. bro, what, what what do you guys got going on this year, man? Like, this this yeah, year? This this the rest of this year is early. Like, uh, what, are you, what are you guys working well, on? Well, Kai and Ryan are gonna be taking off to Germany to go to IWA. Oh, like, oh what? Literally in two days. Mm -hmm. Holy oh, shit. That's in two, two days. days. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look, I forgot about look, that. Look, they both look surprised. Yeah. I know, dude. Yeah, no rest. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's dope, man. What are y'all? So y'all doing like a factory tour? Y'all getting some guns? Y'all y'all becoming arms dealers? We already arms dealers. That's right. Yeah, that's right. April. Oh, and uh, what else do we have? Yeah. Oh, dude, so we got NRA in April. We'll probably do Kalash Bash again this year, mm. right? So we've got other... Guns Out Range Day. Yeah, I mean, oh, podcast. Guns Out Range Day. That's a good one. Guns Out Range Day, August 2023. Yeah. Mm. Come on, man. Classic okay. has to be there. Okay? I th that sounds in, like in all y'all's glory yeah i give y'all respect man y'all got y'all got a really good thing going and and we would love to have you guys dude well, so i appreciate it's the, invite, it's the yeah. official invite on their channel that's awesome man maybe we can just run the drill out there clint wow it's yeah. on I'm, I'm it's on yeah. Ooh, he done messed up let's do Ooh, it who's gonna, who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna the marine winner. versus yeah. marine like that's gonna be this. great bro yeah, this is gonna be great for the culture i think this is gonna be great I have the winner. He's yeah. You know what? Through. We have time. We have time to figure out the stakes, okay? But the stakes are going to be high. Winner's you can't get higher when you put two Marines against each other, all right? That's true. The competition's there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The competitive spirit's there. I'm just saying. <laughs> Come on. I can't wait. I can't wait to watch that. Can't wait you to can't watch wait that. either. I know. So let's go. Have fun, dude. All right, man. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Guns Out TV, ladies and gentlemen. Let's Mr. Go. John Keyes. Classic. Let's <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, we got Aaron here and Weird Beard. Yes. All right. Well, that's that is that's awesome. I like that, Aaron. And so, give us the lowdown. What exactly do you guys do? What are you guys out here for? You've been nominated for something. What's going on? Yes. Well, 
he and I have a podcast, the yeah. Sort of Calipers podcast, where we talk about Second Amendment laws and developments. Yeah. Um, that's not why I'm here. Mm-hmm. I've been nominated because of my work with Pink Pistols and Operation Blazing Sword. It's all about getting the message yeah. of gun ownership is for everyone yeah. out to the queer community. That's right. And it's something that needed to be said, yeah. and it it's a good thing that came out of a very bad thing. It, it happened as a result of the Pulse Massacre, when a lot of queer people realized that they needed to rethink their thoughts on gun ownership, but they didn't know where to go, because they'd been told all their lives that gun owners were all far-right extremists who wanted them dead. Right. And we know that's not true. Right. And so they wanted to learn, you know, where to buy a gun, where to get training for it but they couldn't go the traditional means right. because they thought they would be putting themselves in danger. I understand. Yeah. And across social media, I saw gun owners yeah. volunteering, saying, I don't care who you sleep with. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you have between your legs. Right. What matters is that you're human and your life is precious. That's right. And you should be able to defend yourself yeah. because self-defense is an inherent human right. That's right. And so if you want to learn, I'll teach you, I'll yeah. take you to the range, and I'll provide everything. Yeah. All you have to do is show up. Well, that's awesome, because the Second Amendment, just like all other rights, should be equally applied. Exactly. Yeah, and so I absolutely agree with that, and I think that's an honorable thing that you guys are doing. Yeah, so. and so, because I had my feet in both camps, yeah. I, I started putting together a social media post, yeah. and it blossomed into Operation Blazing Sword, yeah. which now has over 1,500 volunteers all across the country, yeah. and we've even got some in Canada. And oh, and yeah. Australia, they, they it. <laughs> and it's all about yeah. teaching firearms education to yes. people. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't believe in abstinence-only sex education. Yeah. Why do we believe in abstinence-only firearm education? Sure. And so it's all about removing ignorance and fear of the unknown, yep. so that people can make an informed decision yeah. whether or not firearms are right for them. And then if they decide they want to do that, you know, we'll help them buy a gun for self-defense, yeah. get a, a carry permit. Just navigate all that and welcome them into the fold. That's awesome. Well, that's great. Best of luck to you in there. I hope you guys have enjoyed thank the you. Gundys and uh, drive sure tanks. Did. That's awesome. <laughs> so, hey, thank you guys so much. Where can they find you guys again? Go ahead. Well, our podcast is assortedcalibers.com. Right. And you can find uh, my charity at blazingsword.org. Yep. And you can also find pinkpistols.org. Yes. That's awesome. Well, hey, again, pleasure meeting you guys. Thank, Thank you. y'all so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. You guys are enough. And uh, I am very, very proud to announce I am back with the OG co-host of the Gundies. A long, long way from our very first Gundies. I just have to say that from the humble beginnings of that first restaurant to here. I mean, this is crazy. The very first time, it was pretty much just a party, and we shared a microphone. We shared a mic. But we didn't share. We fought over. Yeah, we fought over. Literally, (laughs) just like this. Just like this, or just like fighting back and forth. But I was pretty much there for emotional support. I was his emotional support human at that time. Our stage was a staircase, and we had one speaker (laughs) and one mic. But it was an amazing, amazing time. It was. So guys, to watch this event grow over the years, I mean, we could not do this without all the sponsors and the amazing industry that we all are part of. So thank you all so, so very much. Next up, we have Most Influential Male of the Year. That's a pretty big title if you ask me. And this is going to be sponsored by RTS Tactical. Most Influential Male of the Year, sponsored by RTS Tactical. Here are your top four nominees. Forgotten Weapons. Mr. Guns and Gear, Clint Morgan, Hop Lofile. All right, this is a pretty big title, and it's going to go to Clint Morgan. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. 
Um, first of all, to be like compared to the other names mentioned is awesome. What an honor. How freaking cool is this? Thank you to everybody that voted. Thank you to Forge Relations for hosting again. Van Lithia, appreciate you guys so much. Again, this is just super cool. And to my uh, Marines that are watching that I told I would give a, a negative fit rep if you didn't vote for me, thank you. Uh, but anyway, I'll leave it off there. Again, God bless you guys. This is super cool. Kelsey, if you're watching, love you. And this is, this is awesome. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I find this hilariously ironic that I am the influencer of the year, considering I always consider myself a and terrible influence. I just appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to use my platform for another year to kind of blend guns and comedy uh, in a way that I guess is helpful to the Second Amendment. Uh, God, if you have small children in the audience, don't let them watch my stuff. I'm not a good influence. This is not a, not a good representation, but either way, I'm very honored. Thank you so much, and to everybody at home who voted, your continued support means more than you will ever understand. So, thank you so much, and God bless the United States and God.